You're still watching Plus TV News on the hour. And still on the national matters, the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Adam Soshomole, said the recent protests by the People's Democratic Party over the Imo state governorship elections and the insecurity in the country is unnecessary. Oshomele said they are a disturbance to public peace and an invitation to anarchy. He, however, urged members of the PDP to take their disputes to the court. We didn't think we should go into street protest because to join them in street protest, it's uh, like the proverbial proverb, which says that um, when a madman carries your clothes while you are in the bedroom uh, and he tries to run away and you, you come out naked running after him, people will say, look at these two madmen. You will know the difference. And that is why we resisted the hodge to join PDP in a, in a street fight because it, it won't make any sense. We as a governing party has the burden to maintain peace, to maintain law and order. And I still have in the studio with me Dr. Emeria Agumwa to talk about all that is unfolding in Imo State. Uh, doctor, incidentally, you are from Imo State. Now, first of all, what's your reaction to the Supreme Court ruling? Clearly, I think um, there's a way we look at Supreme Court. Supreme Court is Supreme Court. It's a final say. And um, you don't argue what the court has said. You, you, you build, you make your case. Mm -hmm. So my, my reaction is that if, if we made a proper case, maybe we would have got a different result. Okay. But we, because we didn't make a proper case, I mean, speaking of the people or speaking of for the people who are protesting, uh, if you want to build, you make a proper build up to the case, let it be clear beyond all reasonable doubt that you have a proper case. Then the court rules on cases. Mm -hmm. They don't rule on sentiment or what you think is right the rule of based on what is presented as fact on the table. Okay. Do you agree with uh, Oshomala there saying that this is going to, this is heading towards anarchy or push towards that direction? Do you uh, agree? You can't tell the people not to react. But everything has a way. Um, everything that has a beginning has a way, has a time to stop. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that you don't get things done um, by protesting on the road. Mm. The streets don't decide government. No. You had a chance to decide when you are casting your vote. But finally, for some reasons, we are now in the Supreme Court. Uh, what we would have done is to build a proper case and see if there's a way of um, having the court to relook the matter, look at the matter again. And if it's possible, we'll build pressure on that system. What we are building is what they call mere sentiment. And for the tr truth of the matter is, um, it won't achieve anything. Hmm. Imo State has always been in the news, you know, uh, yes. every other time we see Imo State for one reason or the other. Now, when this news broke, we also saw mass protests. People went out on the streets to protest against the ruling of the Supreme Court. So do you really think that that really represents the wish of the people of Imo State? The people are not happy. Clear as well on the, the, on the roads. Mm -hmm. But also, that's what I'm trying to say, because um, at some point, we also need to understand that there's a channel laid down to make your case. Staying on the road will not make the present administration step down. It will never happen. Mm -hmm. Getting a court ruling can change that. So instead of mounting pressures on the road, yes, you are not happy, mm -hmm. but channel your anger through the right means and get put pressure, get this whole thing. We look at, we look at the matter properly and ensure that you have a court. And I'm sure there's a date set for them this mm -hmm. month too. Um, so the pressure shouldn't be on the streets really. Yeah, except it's for public sympathy. But you know, public sympathies at this point, they're not influenced much. I'm trying to be very fair, very logical. And I, yes, I might say oh, people are really sad. Uh, let these people look at, but it will happen like that. Mm -hmm. Everybody is sad. The system is divided. Now, the moment it rules against one, be sure you're going to find another protest on this other side. Mm -hmm. Okay, means that it is properly fair, and um, it can never be. Everybody, no, nobody is that kind of measure anymore. That the whole state wants them. But I'm saying, if you have a case, if you are angry at what's going on, you channel it through the proper means. As an individual who's from Imo State, what do you think are the issues of your state? Clearly, we have issues. We have issues. And we can't take it like the issues of the state. We have the issues of this generation. Which is? Issues of generation is that the people who are going to be next leaders are not properly informed. And the truth of the matter is that information is not really about government. It's about um, business, it's about workplace, it's about responsibilities. So what we have is a gap, or we have a gap. The, the people who live before and the guys who are coming behind, there's a gap. Mm. 
and the gap is that we're expecting every everything we're expecting government to do everything for us while we are not building our own um, economic base and our own network base we're not doing anything so the the problem is there the problem is really not the problem is not really what to put on the government yes the government can help um, make this thing a lot easier but the problem is the people I'm, I speak a lot as an insider I speak a lot as, as an insider the problem is the people we can't find the people doing stuff that will put the state on the map. Moving forward, what do you anticipate for Imo State in terms of good governance? Clearly, the truth is that we're getting there. I mean, the road is turbulent. Clearly, we're getting there. It's going to get better by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not the only one that is smart in the state. We have a couple of other smart people in the state. All we're saying is that with time, um, the bad system is going to flow out, the proper systems are flowing in. And I'm optimistic because the state is, we are industrious, we are happy people, and we are optimistic that this is going to be about the last phase of this kind of turbulence in government. And before you know what's happening, we're going to usher in new systems of smarter people, um, logical people who want to drive the state forward. All right. Thank you so very much, Dr. Emery, for coming and you know sharing your thoughts on the matters generally. And Dr. Emery is a social commentator and he's been discussing with us. Mm -hmm.